We've got unfinished business. Let's go. Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. And we're back to finish off some business. I know if you watched last week's video, we came across a little cutting, didn't we? In the side, in the riverbank. Yeah, yeah. With a water course coming out of it. Well, we're back just after the video to go and take a look and see where it goes. We still don't know what it is. I might have to offer up some theories, but uh, we can't work out what it is. So this week, we're still in Manchester. In fact, we're very much where we were last week. It's a follow-up to last week's video. As we zoom in, we're in the northwest area of Manchester and we're here, just down by the River Irwell, here, roughly about here. And we found a water course coming out into the Irwell from a tunnel. So that's what we're going to investigate this week. Right, so we're here. We've come down the steep bank and we're back where we were last week uh, when we filmed last week's video, just on the River Irwell here, as you can see. Um, don't know how far this thing goes in. Don't even know what it is yet. I've got Danny on the case trying to work out what it is. Um, but anyway, we're going to break with tradition and we're going to have a brew before we go in. Have you got one of uh, Margaret Barlow's egg teas? Yeah, it's egg tea. Egg tea, indeed. You see that has oat milk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Decent. Is it? It's not. Right, so we're heading in. I'm going to show you something first. Can you light down here, James? Yeah. It's a little bit sink here. Um, there's um, a pipe, and it's it's sort of sunk in to underneath the, the bed of the like the, the water course. I'm looking at the, look, it's brick, that is brick. I'm just looking at where the pipe's in. And I was thinking, how have they got the pipe into the, uh, underneath the water course? It's actually brick. But then again, what is going on there? Your guess is as good as mine. You can go first. As you look down where the pipe's set in, you can see it's bricks, two bricks thick. Uh, looks like it might have been a bit of a wall at the entrance. I'm gonna leave that uh, thought with you. Right, what we've got here is what looks like to be a natural riverbed or brook bed or little watercourse bed, but with a man-made chiselled out upper tunnel to it. Um, so very, very baffling. And there they are, there's the pit marks. So definitely a man-made job, isn't it? Yeah.
So we've got pit marks on the side, definitely man-made. Um, it's getting really stupid to be honest with you, and the, the bottom's really uneven, and it's like little deep bits, isn't there? Yeah. And we're only just about in here. A moth there. We're bigger. Oh yeah, a little moth, a little moth up above there. It's turned into a crawl, so I mean you can't really crawl in, in running water unless you're going to get soaked. But we'll take a look, see how far we can get. It's turned into a crawl. We're now what I call duck walking, so we're sort of walking crouched down, which is a killer. Each sort of meter is really difficult at this point now, and it's only going to get smaller. Hey, I'm too tall. Hello. It's like some bit down there, doesn't it? It looks like something, doesn't it? Probably worth trying out down there. The water feet. So up ahead, this looks like a little junction. That looks like about as far as we're going to get to. Um, looks interesting. I'll get to the junction, my legs are killing me. We knew we weren't getting very far because we knew it got really, really stupid. You must have uh, dug this on the lay down before water was in it, I'm guessing. And down there is a junction. So just up ahead, as you can see, you can possibly stand up. I'm just going to go to the next bit. My legs are killing me. Oh, 
Senhor. Wow, reminds me of Jurassic Park, <laughs> coming out to some strange little valley. And um, they've obviously cut the thing there to go underneath there. I wonder if it, did it ever run on? Or was it, was it a little tiny underground bit and they've just expanded it? What's that about? It was sweaty in there. Oh, it was so sweaty and so quite deep, annoyingly deep in places. And I'm not having a welly fail, I've had a bit of a welly fail. <laughs> uh, let's just go there and just see where it goes. I can't work out what this is. I can't work it out at all. Okay, back to the maps. So we're wondering what the source is of the water course. So if I just go to 3D now on uh, Google Earth. Right, so where our water course is around about... Um, here comes out round about here and it's it goes around here this is after much studying and you see this little valley here there's a water course that runs down there and it's fed, fed by some springs um so it, its actual source is up here runs down here runs oops i'm making a mess of this runs all the way down here and runs out by the river Irwell there so when we found the land that time forgot, it was roughly, where are we looking at? Roughly around about here, a little opening round about here. But as you can see on the terrain there, that valley fed by springs. So it's just an unnamed water course that makes its way down to the River Irwell there. I'm gonna show you, um, it's actually on Google Maps. So if you flick over to Google Maps for a moment. So this is Google Maps and you can see there's our water course there it doesn't show it only shows a short part of it but you can see it there where it probably disappears into the tunnel and heads down to the river Irwell there so it is it is noted on google maps but unfortunately they don't show the full length of it and the source of it and they don't name it it's, it's an unnamed water course which is quite unusual because normally these things have a little name like a brook or something like that but you can see it's just an unnamed water course. The only thing is our bags are midway in the tunnel now. I know. We put them down, so we have to go back in the tunnel to get the bags to get out. Which way are we going back? But well, the bags are midway in the tunnel. We're going to need new knees, you know. Should've got we should've got, uh, should've got the GoPro in to get the bags for us. What we could have done was flew a small drone through. Yeah, pick the bags up. Yeah, get a fly drone in to pick the bags up. We take them out the other side, couldn't we? And get some bruise by it. <laughs> you can do that with drones, can't you? Climbing tunnels. Not. Um, <laughs> well, you can, but they lose GPS, so they go all over the place and they crash in the tunnel. Um, I know. What? Overcraft. Oh, yeah. How could hovercraft over? A little remote control hovercraft. Yeah. Could have gone in. Or we could. Um, we could have rolled on it. Trained a pigeon. Like Steve Strange. <laughs> we could have trained a pigeon. Yeah. To fly in <laughs> the cave. Yeah. And then pick our bags up and come back and yeah. film at the same time. Go find that pigeon. <laughs> Any more interesting suggestions in the comments are more than welcome. I think this is a very old, undiscovered part of Manchester to go with you. I think it really is. Anyway. I don't have to be bothered. Which way did we come? Oh God. The spiders in there. Yeah. Spiders, moths. 
Right, so I go back through the tunnel to get the bags uh, and James goes his own way. But firstly, some more maps. Okay, so just to illustrate the point of the source of the, uh, the water course, because we want to get to the bottom of this if we can, and I don't think we will. I've gone to the side-by-side -side maps. The left-hand map is 1892 to 1914. The right-hand map is a modern-day satellite view. Um, so let's just zoom in. There's our, our little valley that I've shown you on Google Earth, and it's called Nuttall Wood, as you can see. And let me zoom in a bit more. Just by the pheasantry there is a spring. So that's feeding it, and there it is. There's the watercourse. Now, I'm going to show you some more springs in a minute, but there's at least one spring. Let's follow the water course down. Let's come out of it for you here. It runs underneath the old uh, railway line, the East Lancashire Railway line, which is um, there, which is now the outward trail. You can walk and cycle along there. Um, I'm looking at the left-hand map now. There's our water course runs down here. It's actually on the map on this one, which is quite good. Runs down here past the new outward brickworks, which we walked past, but it's so overgrown in this area at the moment, it's not worth looking at. You'd need to go back here. We need to go back here in November, December to take a look at this, see if anything's left. But at the minute, let's just ignore the new outward brickworks, stick to the watercourse. There it is running down here, <clears throat> and it gets to the sharp embankment down to the, uh, the river Irwell. And here, at this point, it disappears. As you can see, it turns into a line. This is the point at which I think it disappears underground. And it runs down there. So, about here, we saw the junction, didn't we? Where one branch went that way and one branch went that way. Here's my, here's my um, theory. The left-hand branch could have been something to do with the new outward brickworks, whether they needed some sort of overflow. So they fed into this and then out into the Irwell. The right-hand branch may have been some kind of overflow for Rhodes Locks here. Now, Rhodes Locks we visited last week, and, you, and again, it's all completely derelict and overgrown. But would you take an overflow and feed it all that way down there to here? Possibly back then, in the late 1700s, they, they did. You'd be amazed at what the, the tunneling that went on around here, particularly around the wet earth colliery. Possibly. It would have made more sense just to do an overflow that ran this way down here, wouldn't it? But it could have ran this way and out into the Irwell. So it may be some sort of overflow from the Rhodes Locks. And the other one might be an overflow from the new outward brickworks. But I don't know. And I'm just supposing. So I cannot present supposition and theory as fact, which I'm not going to do. So the only correct answer is... I don't know what that left and right hand branch was. Anyway, there you go. There's the old maps. And our water course is shown much more uh, visibly on here. I said I would show you this area here and what's feeding the water course. I'm going to flick to the um, modern day um, Ordnance Survey maps. There you go. There's Not All Wood, just briefly. And there's our water course shown clearly right in the middle on the Ordnance Survey maps, and there's a spring there, and a spring there, and I don't doubt there's more springs up here somewhere. They're not actually shown, but something's feeding these here. But definitely springs here feeding our water course, and that probably accounts for why it's so crystal clear. It's spring water, and you'll see it comes down here, and it makes its way down to the River Irwell there. There you go, there's some maps for you that might show some, might shed some light on the source of the water course and possibly those two branches that we found in the tunnel. Okay, back to the video. So where were we? I'd gone back through the tunnel to get the bags and James had gone his own way. So let's catch up with James and see where he is. This is the water course coming this way. It's gone along here. Uh, through all this. I'm gonna put a beehive. Beehive. There's a little bit of an area there, but nettles everywhere. Mmm, maybe I should have gone with Martin. Oh my god, it's so peaceful out here. It's so good to be out of that. That was horrendous. <laughs> I knew as soon as he got down to that crawl, it was horrific. 
I don't know where James is. Uh, he's, <laughs> I bet he's lost his way. I bet, he can't. I bet he's ringing me or something because he's lost his way. Right, stop moaning and make the brew. <laughs> Wood. Oh yes! Wood? Hey? Wood in it? Well, uh, use a bit, little bit of the water to rinse it out. And they've been in that tunnel and they've got a bit of a sand in them, haven't they? Yeah. So we're going to have a gritty tea. Gritty tea, tea gritty, gritty tea, tea, I want my gritty tea. You keep giving me <laughs> that posh nod, it don't agree with me. <laughs> Prick. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm proud to say that we've actually not really got to the bottom of anything in this video. One final theory, I wonder if they took the water course underneath the canal and needed to lower it a bit because it interfered with the canal, maybe, maybe, just a final theory that, because uh, there's a disused canal above the, the tunnel that we went in. Right, okay, so the final thing is the pipe, what's the pipe about? We don't know, we haven't got a clue, we don't even know where that pipe's going, where it came from. We know that it's set in brick at this point, but I can't even speculate or offer a theory, so I'm not even going to start coming up with stuff and offering it as fact. I don't think any of us know the, the entire story of this tunnel, so let's not start saying what we think it is, let's just leave it as a bit of a mystery and know that it had something to do with the industry in the area and they had to cut a bigger bore for the watercourse and the pipe, well, God knows. Anyway, there you go, we got to the bottom of nothing. Right, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. So it was a bit of a follow-on from last week's video. We went in the tunnel to see what it was all about. I couldn't believe it. we came out into daylight. I know. I thought I was just going to go on and on and on. And if it, to be honest with you, it's a good job it did come into daylight. Because you couldn't, wanna... couldn't have crawled. Couldn't have crawled all that way. No way. Um, oh, I thought I saw a heron then. No, I, I didn't. It was. was it? I like herons. Where are we going now? Pub? Pub. Yeah? Gorgeous day. Eh? Thanks very much for watching. Take care. See you in the next video. In a bit. Right. Good to see you maintaining the diet, James. I know. What are them? Cider, cider vinegar crisp. These, and, uh, <laughs> these are the healthy ones. Yeah, you Pulse got those. Scotsons. For your diet, that, innit? They got no calories in. Ah, is it because they're just fat? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, cheers. Cheers.